Betrayal. Betrayal is a profound act of disloyalty or deceit, where trust, confidence, or allegiance placed in someone is broken. It typically involves a deliberate or intentional action that goes against the expectations or agreements between individuals, groups, or entities. Betrayal can manifest in many forms, such as revealing secrets, abandoning someone in their time of need, or acting in a way that harms or undermines the other person. The emotional impact of betrayal is often deep and long-lasting because it shatters the foundation of trust that relationships are built upon. In close personal relationships, such as between friends, family members, or romantic partners, betrayal can feel particularly painful because it represents a violation of intimate bonds. Professionally, betrayal might involve breaking agreements or violating ethical standards, leading to damaged reputations and trust within teams or organizations. What makes betrayal especially hurtful is the element of surprise or deceit. Often, the betrayed party never expects that the person they trusted would act against them. This breach of trust can lead to feelings of anger, sadness, confusion, and even a loss of faith in others, making betrayal a uniquely damaging experience in human relationships. Exiled by family. The phrase, exiled by family, describes a profound and often painful experience in which an individual is deliberately cast out, rejected or banished by their own family members. This form of exile typically stems from significant conflicts, differing values or actions that the family finds unacceptable or irreconcilable. Being exiled implies more than just physical separation. It often involves an emotional and social severing of ties, where the individual is no longer welcomed, included, or acknowledged within the family unit. This kind of familial exile can manifest in various ways, such as being cut off from communication, denied participation in family events and traditions, or even being disowned entirely just like me. The reasons for such an exile can vary widely, ranging from personal choices, relationships, hate, mental disorders like narcissism, greed or lifestyle differences that clash with the family's expectations to more serious issues such as betrayal or dishonor. The emotional toll of being exiled by family is often significant as it involves losing the support system, sense of belonging, and identity that family usually provides, especially being left in a country halfway around the world in a foreign country of all things, left high and dry with no money, creating bullshit stories. Stories about the exiled to make themselves sound superior because of her mental disorders that have not been addressed by a professional, yet due to too much undeserved millions, and way too big of an ego and a godlike complex created from them, thinking is a normal thing to believe for the simple-minded followers to indulge in. It can leave the individual feeling isolated, alienated, and forced to navigate life without the connections that once grounded them. This kind of exile not only affects the individual, but can also have lasting repercussions on the family dynamics and relationships as a whole. Narcissism refers to a personality trait characterized by excessive self-focus, an inflated sense of self-importance, and a deep need for admiration. Individuals with narcissistic tendencies often have a grandiose view of themselves, believing they are superior to others and deserving of special treatment. They may struggle with empathy, frequently disregarding the feelings and needs of those around them in favor of their own desires. Narcissism can exist on a spectrum, with some people displaying mild traits, while others may exhibit more extreme behaviors that can be disruptive to their relationships and social interactions. In its more severe form, narcissism can be diagnosed as Narcissistic Personality Disorder, NPD, a mental health condition where the individual's preoccupation with self-image and validation significantly impairs their ability to function healthily in social and personal contexts. Narcissism is a complex personality trait that centers on an inflated sense of self-importance and a deep-seated need for excessive attention and admiration. 
At its core, narcissism involves a heightened focus on oneself, often at the expense of genuine concern for others. This trait can manifest in various ways, from vanity and arrogance to a constant preoccupation with success, power, and attractiveness. Key Characteristics Grandiosity People with narcissistic tendencies often view themselves as superior, unique, or special. They may believe they are entitled to privileges that others do not deserve. This sense of grandiosity can lead them to exaggerate their achievements and talents, expecting others to recognize and admire them for these qualities. Need for Admiration Narcissistic individuals crave constant validation and approval from others. They may seek out praise and recognition, and when they do not receive the admiration they believe they deserve, they may become frustrated or even angry. This need for external validation can drive their behaviors, making them highly dependent on others for their self-worth. Lack of Empathy One of the hallmark traits of narcissism is a diminished capacity for empathy. Narcissistic individuals often struggle to recognize or care about the feelings and needs of others. They may be so focused on their own desires and goals that they disregard the impact of their actions on those around them. This lack of empathy can lead to strained relationships and social conflicts. Manipulative Behavior Narcissists may use others to achieve their own ends, manipulating situations and people to maintain their self-image or achieve their goals. This can involve exploiting others using charm or deception and disregarding the boundaries of others. Fragile Self-Esteem Despite their outward confidence and arrogance, many narcissists have fragile self-esteem. Their inflated self-image often masks deep insecurities, which is why they seek constant validation from others. Criticism or failure can be particularly devastating for them, leading to feelings of shame, humiliation, or even rage. Envy and competitiveness. Narcissists often feel envious of others who they perceive as having more success, power, or admiration. They may view others as threats and engage in competitive behaviors to outshine or undermine them. Conversely, they may also believe that others are envious of them, reinforcing their sense of superiority. People with NPD may struggle to maintain healthy relationships, as their behavior can be self-centered, manipulative, and dismissive of others' needs. They often have difficulty accepting criticism or failure, and may react with anger, defensiveness, or even aggression when their self-image is threatened. Causes of Narcissism the exact causes of narcissism and NPD are not fully understood, but they are believed to involve a combination of genetic, environmental, and psychological factors. Some theories suggest that narcissism may develop as a defense mechanism in response to early childhood experiences such as excessive pampering, neglect, or inconsistent parenting. Others point to a genetic predisposition that influences personality development. Impact on Relationships Narcissism can have a significant impact on personal and professional relationships. Narcissistic individuals may struggle with forming deep, meaningful connections because their self-centeredness can overshadow their ability to care for others. In romantic relationships, they may be charming and charismatic at first, but their need for control, admiration, and superiority can lead to conflicts and dissatisfaction. In the workplace, their competitive nature and desire for recognition may create tension with colleagues. Scapegoating when a mother engages in toxic behavior like scapegoating and playing the victim, it can be due to a combination of psychological factors, personal history, and emotional issues. Here are some possible reasons why she might behave this way. 1. Unresolved personal issues, trauma, or abuse. If your mother experienced trauma or abuse in her own life, she might not have fully processed or healed from it. 
This unresolved pain can manifest in dysfunctional ways, such as projecting her issues onto you. Low self-esteem. She might struggle with low self-esteem and use scapegoating as a way to elevate herself by putting someone else down. By playing the victim, she avoids facing her own feelings of inadequacy. 2. Narcissistic Traits Need for Control Some people with narcissistic traits have an intense need for control and will manipulate situations to ensure they remain in a position of power. Scapegoating allows her to control the family narrative and avoid accountability. Inability to empathize. A lack of empathy is common in narcissistic individuals. She might be unable to see or care about the harm her actions cause you because she is focused on her own needs and feelings. 3. Psychological defense mechanisms. Projection. She might be projecting her own flaws, mistakes, or guilt onto you. By blaming you, she avoids facing her own shortcomings. Denial and avoidance. Playing the victim allows her to deny her own responsibility and avoid confronting uncomfortable truths about herself or her life. 4. Fear and insecurity. Fear of losing control. If she fears losing control or authority, she might use scapegoating to maintain her perceived dominance in the relationship. This fear can be exacerbated if she feels threatened by your independence or differing opinions. Insecurity. Deep-seated insecurities might drive her to constantly play the victim to garner sympathy and avoid being seen as the bad person in any situation. 5. Learned Behavior Family Patterns If your mother grew up in a family where scapegoating or playing the victim was a common dynamic, she might have learned to behave this way as a coping mechanism. Unfortunately, these patterns can be passed down through generations. 6. Emotional Immaturity Difficulty Handling Emotions Emotional immaturity can lead to an inability to manage difficult emotions in a healthy way. Rather than dealing with her own feelings, she might externalize them onto you. Black and White Thinking Some people see the world in very rigid terms, where they are always the victim and others are to blame. This black and white thinking prevents them from seeing situations objectively. 7. Attention and Sympathy Need for Attention Some individuals crave attention and sympathy and will play the victim to get it. By positioning herself as the victim, she might be seeking validation, pity, or support from others. 8. Cognitive Distortions Distorted Perceptions Cognitive distortions are irrational thought patterns that can influence how a person interprets situations. Your mother might genuinely believe that she is the victim and that you are to blame, even if this isn't objectively true. Conclusion Understanding the possible reasons behind her actions can help you cope, though it doesn't excuse the harm it causes. Ultimately, her behavior is about her issues, not yours. Seeking support, whether through therapy or trusted friends, can help you navigate this challenging relationship.